So today we're going to be DMing 100 NBA YouTubers. I split that. We have NBA YouTubers, 2K YouTubers. I just scrunched them all in there together because I couldn't find 100 NBA YouTubers. I don't even know if there's 100 NBA YouTubers that post YouTube videos. It probably is, but uh, I just I just couldn't be bothered to be totally honest and got kind of boring, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> halfway through the video, we, we try to spice it up and I just I just got bored halfway through the video so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully my first DMing 100 whatever video did good and hopefully this video does better because this one was uh, much more funny in my opinion before we jump into it though obviously you got to follow me on Instagram at enviers link is in the description Mike Corzemba I'm like Lonzo Ball with a 40 inch vertical how much you charge for a YouTube collab you know Mike Corzemba is uh pretty popular youtuber you know back in the day i gave him a shout out he appreciated that we followed each other no response jimmy high roller people keep telling me we sound the same trying to do a collab asmr video i do get a lot of those i don't get them as much anymore lost and unbound let me know if you need any video ideas brody will work for free with thumbnails or editing he stole my video he is not willing to have that reputation of having another LNU sweatshop. I, if LNU has learned better than opening up sweatshops just through the laser. You like my thumbnails? I'm trying to collab? That's a relatively obscure thing to say. I'm Christopher London. How's the weather up there? I made a typo and I forgot to type in LA. Hopefully he doesn't take it the wrong way. I'm trying to move out to LA. Cash nasty. Yo bro, is G Nation J Nice really seven feet tall? Oh, nobody's gonna get the joke. Nobody's gonna get the joke. Chris Smooth. It'd be a noob move if he didn't collab with me for my YouTube channel. You know, it was a noob move. He didn't collab with me for my YouTube channel. But I mean, who does he even collab with on YouTube, right? Dom2K. There's there's a few YouTubers that I have no interaction with. Dom2K is one of their YouTubers. I know he's a Celtics fan. So I just said Celtics in four. Pretty Boy Fredo. He's not in the 2K or NBA community anymore. But you're trying to fake a prank for my channel? Berwadis. Kelly Oubre, the only good thing that happened to the Suns in 15 years. Not really a question, but like a fact. Troy Dan, you trying to toss some more wieners? Probably gonna look so sus. Whenever I upload this video, he just uploaded a, a, a wiener video, tossing wieners. I forgot what YouTuber this was. He's like the clean prince gaming of the 2K community. I remember seeing a video saying he's not gonna be buying 2K20. So I'm just asking the question when he inevitably posts 2K20 on his YouTube channel. Um, you know, you buying and posting 2K, right? Shake and bake. Love you, bro. Squirrel emoji. <laughs> we used to do videos. We did a couple, like two or three, four. I love them. That's what, that's what my message says. I love you, bro. Nick the Bulls fan. I'm trying to collab. Also, whatever happened to Snowfeet? That was kind of like his downfall of his career, huh? Find an e-girl. Hopefully, he responds the same way as before. If he does respond, iPod King Carter. iPod's an OG of the 2K community, you know? he's He's been doing this for a while. And usually the guys that have been doing this for a while usually fall off and just stop posting. iPod, he's finessed his way to not falling off. So congrats to iPod. It's me, Zach Lee. He got invited to like the all-star game with NBA playmakers, then kind of threw a tantrum when he couldn't advertise his videos with paid promotions. I've seen that you, you know, you've had your mental struggles and you're burnt out with YouTube. So I just wanted to give you this inspiring uplifting message if you ever see it. B-Souls. Trying to do a rebuild challenge for my channel? I just asked him the same thing he asked me. The NBA Playmakers Instagram account. How come you only post the same NBA YouTubers on your YouTube channel? Why not showcase some of your other NBA Playmaker YouTubers? Spread the wealth and love, please. They only post the same 10 basketball YouTubers, if not 10, maybe even 5 on their NBA Playmakers channel, and most of them aren't even YouTubers. They're quote-unquote influencers with like 20k on Instagram. The Real Ticino, I've only seen one of his YouTube videos because it popped up in my recommended for some reason. He had like a 99 player overall in 2k. He looks and sounds and his like mannerisms remind me a lot of Anto the Boss. Pat Gaming, he does uh, rating videos, nothing really like special or groundbreaking, but it gets views. So I asked him, you trying to collab? We in the same city. Nick Smith, how is everybody doing? Nick the Bulls fan here. Uh, shout out Nick Smith. I hope you're doing well, man. I miss you. Much love. King of the fourth quarter. Got a free 16 available for the song I'm working on. You're trying to hop on for a verse? No response, obviously. My boy, Agent Zero. When are you going to start posting IRL basketball videos again? Shake Benway. <laughs> YMB Gento. Hey, bro. Hope you're doing well. We love you and we miss you and we want to get you some help. But more importantly, can I make a YouTube video on you talking about your mental state and also monetize it? Hopefully that's cool. 
Love you, bro. Stay strong. At this point, no NBA YouTubers responded to me. So I just started watching YouTube videos and one of the YouTube videos that was my recommended was a channel by the name of Travi Black who was DMing Instagram baddies. So I thought, why not give it a try, you know? These NBA YouTubers clearly more popular than NBA players that can respond to me. So I started following a bunch of females that I thought I could get a response out of. Mind you, my profile picture was of Kelly Oubre. What female doesn't want a DM from Kelly Oubre? I'm not going to be showing any of the females ads because I don't want to give them free clout. Get this video to 5k likes, I'll drop the ads. The first female happened to look at my IG story. Seen you looking at my story, are you trying to collab with the eye emojis? She immediately responds, no. Period. Period. That period, that hurt my soul. The period, I don't know why. The no, the no didn't hurt. I fumbled the ball here. I dropped it. I 360 no scope ladder stalled. I simply put, I can respect that. Keep going with a little with a little fairy emoji. The second female is a YouTuber. She has like 1K to 5K subs, I think. I randomly came across her. She might have more, to be totally. I don't want to downplay her channel. I know we make completely different videos, but are you trying to collab with the eye emojis? What is your channel? And this is the part where I expose myself and give her my channel. She left me on scene but gave me a heart at least. So if you ever see a story time video from a female saying enviers slid in my DMs, now you know. The third female, I'm not I'm not entirely sure I can show this picture. I'm just gonna have like a block here covering her out. I don't even think she's, she does not look like she's on the beach to be totally honest. There's pavement and grass. What kind of beach has pavement and grass? Mind you, it could be a swimming pool, but her caption was hot girl summer. So I simply responded, what's the score for hot girl summer after this pick? No response, so I'm assuming the city boys are still up. Fourth female, I'm here trying to write your essays for you. They say, hey, say it's a total joke. It's okay, just cheer me on with the winky face. And I was like, oh, okay. Birdman hand rub, say less, I can definitely do that. Then she comes out of nowhere with the RKO and says bath water, question mark. Under where I have upcoming YouTuber with 20K subscribers, I also have just trying to drink some bath water with eye emojis. Are you offering or why bath water? She says, what does that mean? And at this point, I'm also thinking, she doesn't know what bath water means? Is water you bathe in slash shower in? Bio's a complete joke. Then she wants some clever double entendre from me, thinking I'm like some circus monkey here for, here for entertainment. So I say, I mean, it could be if you wanted to be with another eye emoji. The eye emoji is very essential here. Oh man, send me your YouTube channel. Once again, I expose myself. I give her the link and ask for my main account. Once again, once more exposing myself, giving her my main account. So that's basically where it ends. You know, I say I could grace her presence with a follow. Too cocky, confident there on my end. Was left on scene. Female number five. The caption is new hair plus some sky pics. How are you glowing more than the sky like that? She gives me some, some little face emoji with hearts. You can't see it because I'm on my PC, I'm on Windows. The glow death distracts me from what appears to be a dead body behind you. That's clearly a dead body. She says that's her friend. I say I'm not no snitch. She kind of starts, you know, giving me some 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 weak replies, and I, I'm trying to stretch it out here. Uh, I say I love you. I was getting ahead of myself there. I mean, you haven't taken me for dinner yet. Can't make that mistake. People may get the wrong idea. True, true. I'm gonna invest in some glasses. Jokes on her. I already have glasses. I'm just blind. I didn't know where else to take that one, so I left it as is. I think this is female number six. I fully support a queen trying to start a business. Thank you, heart and eye emojis. In the future, if we divorce, I'll be sure not to take half. Shout out Jeff Bezos. She calls me wild and what's my YouTube channel. So I said, you trying to collab? I give her my YouTube channel. I expose myself once again. She says, let's do it. What's my main page? So expect a, a, a video collab with this person in the near future. Probably not. 5k likes and we'll make it happen. Here we have another. I'm simply going off the caption once again. This is, this is a good conversation starter. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you want to try to slide in a DM, simply respond to a post and their horrible caption and you might get a response. Her caption was, pink is my new obsession. I think you're my new obsession. Crazy eye face emoji. This one kind of went nowhere. She, she just says why. And then I say, are we looking at the same person? It's pretty obvious why. She says, oh no, thank you. You're welcome, Quinn. When's the wedding? What weedy G? 
are silly. And then the conversation ends from there, but she gave me a follow. I don't know why. And those are all the females that I messaged on this account. I messaged seven total. I got six replies. I felt on top of the world and I thought, is it this easy? It can't be this easy. So I went to my main account, messaged like 11 more females and only got one response. So more of the story is your favorite NBA YouTuber probably won't respond to you unless it's me, then I might respond. And if you have Kelly Oubre in your picture, you're most likely going to get more females to respond to you. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I'll most likely do some more in the future. If you leave a like, subscribe, and share the video around. Thank you for watching.